Next time you need to get work done on your home, or your car, or your garden, make sure you choose a trader you can trust. And don't just choose any trader, choose a which trusted trader. Our trading standards professionals only endorse traders who've passed our rigorous assessment that includes credit reports, customer satisfaction surveys, reference checks, and interviews. When we say a trader is good enough to display our Witch Trusted Trader logo, you can trust us. But don't take our word for it. Search Witch Trusted Traders online to see our directory of around 4,000 traders. Every customer review you read there is verified genuine by our moderators, so you can choose with confidence. To find a local trader you can trust, search Witch Trusted Traders or go to witch.co.uk forward slash traders. That's witch.co.uk forward slash traders. Everybody needs a trader they can trust. Hello and welcome to Witch Shorts. I'm James Rowe. Each week on this podcast, we give you a taster of one of the Witch magazines and bring to life a piece that was written by one of our brilliant journalists. This week, we're going to help you cut the size of your phone and broadband bills. In the October edition of The Witch Tech magazine, Kerry Stanaway explored what you need to consider to make the right choice and how to save money. Here's her piece, adapted for the podcast, read by Rob Lilly-Jones. Back in the early 80s, a landline from British Telecom, now BT, was your only telecoms option for staying in touch with family and friends. Since then, competition and innovation has seen a welcome but potentially confusing explosion of choice when it comes to the ways we communicate. For some, this has resulted in decision paralysis, sticking with the familiar because seeking better alternatives seems too complicated. That's exactly what many established providers bank on, but it's a surefire way for you to waste money. Deciding to switch providers instead could save you hundreds of pounds a year. Before you start your research, you should analyse what you really want from your telecom service. It's easy to be swayed by shiny deals selling lightning fast broadband speeds, unlimited mobile data or hundreds of TV channels, but this could leave you overpaying. In our latest mobile survey, 71% of people who had a SIM with 20 gigabytes of data or more said they weren't using as much as that. Similarly, smaller households who don't use a lot of smart devices may even find 15 megabytes per second speed sufficient, though we do recommend fibre connections for better reliability. Speeds of 50 megabits per second or more are useful for 4K video streaming, online gaming and lots of smart devices. So don't pay extra for data or speeds you don't need. Opt for plans that most closely match your typical use. Until relatively recently, many broadband providers included a home phone connection as standard, as you needed an active copper cable phone line for broadband to work. But with the gradual rollout of full fibre across the UK, now available to 62% of homes, broadband-only deals are becoming more common. If you have a decent mobile reception and a deal with plenty of minutes, ditching the landline might save you money. If you still need a landline, bundling it with broadband is likely to be the cheapest option. If you want a standalone home phone service, BT is now your only choice. Pick the package that is cheapest for your usage and ditch any optional extras, such as free international calls or caller ID, that you rarely, if ever, use. When it comes to TV, the average broadband deal costs £19 less a month than the average bundled TV and broadband deal, so it could be time to evaluate your pay TV service. The landscape has changed a lot in recent years, opening up options for must-see content. You can get Sky Sports with Virgin Media, or even on a pay-as-you-go basis with a Now TV day membership for £14.99 for a single day of viewing. Handy if there's a specific sporting event you want to watch, and cheaper than paying for a Sky Sports subscription with either Now TV or Sky. So do your homework to establish the cheapest way to get the channels and shows you want. Sports aside, 
you may be able to get a drama or documentary fix for less by opting for a streaming service with a one-month contract. Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV+, Disney+, Netflix and Now TV all let you take out a one-month contract. With Amazon, you'll also get its Prime Delivery service. The cheapest price for a one-month contract is currently £9.99 for Now TV, £8.99 for Amazon and Apple, and just £4.99 for Disney Plus and Netflix. Though for the latter two, that would mean having to put up with adverts. You can save even more per month for Amazon Prime, Disney Plus and Now TV if you take out a longer six-month or annual subscription. By contrast, the cheapest Sky TV subscription, a 24-month contract, costs £26 a month. Once you've nailed down what you need, get comparing. Even if the features of your current deal are spot on, switching to a different provider could lead to a large saving. Switching both broadband and mobile as soon as your contracts end could save you more than £150 a year on average. If you've got a TV and broadband bundle, you could add another £56 saving to that. As of September this year, broadband switching has become even easier with the introduction of One Touch Switch. This will mean you only have to contact your new company to switch, with no need to speak to your existing provider. If you're completely happy with your current providers, our survey shows that haggling could save you £29 a year for broadband and £70 for mobile. Use our free switching sites for broadband and mobile to check the best deals. You can find links to these in the episode show notes. And ask your providers if they can beat the price. Even a match will still save you money. If you're signed up to a lengthy contract, it's reasonable to be told exactly how much you'll be charged from start to finish. Unfortunately, many providers had the habit of baking in annual inflation-linked price rises, and these added as much as £40 to an average annual broadband bill. Following a witch campaign to end these dodgy practices, telecoms regulator Ofcom has confirmed it will ban inflation-linked price rises. Instead, it proposes that any price increase written into a customer's contract must be set out in pounds and pence. This will minimise the impact of mid-contract price rises, but won't prevent providers from bumping up prices when your contract ends. Get a date in your diary for just before any contract ends, and use our switching sites to switch or haggle for a better deal. In the meantime, though, here are six ways you can save right now. First of all, many telecom providers offer a sweetener to entice new customers, such as cashback and vouchers. Try shopping on cashback sites such as Quidco and Top Cashback. Recently, we've seen Carphone Warehouse offering up to £90 cashback on pay monthly contracts through Top Cashback. Whereas on comparison sites, you could be offered Amazon, John Lewis, M&S, Sainsbury's, Tesco or Uber Eats vouchers for £50, £75 or even £100 if you buy products and services through these sites. Number two, use mobile apps to make free phone calls. Apps such as Skype, Telegram, Viber and WhatsApp let you make free calls to your contacts using Wi-Fi or a data connection rather than using landline or mobile minutes. You can do video calls too, though stick to doing these on Wi-Fi if you're trying to minimise your mobile data use. Number three, simply cut down the cost by only paying for what you need. Many people are paying for more monthly mobile data than they need and could cut costs by opting for a more realistic data allowance. You can use your handset settings to check how much data you use. Many mobile providers and third parties also offer apps that let you monitor your data, minute and text use. Opting for a cheap monthly SIM deal rather than a 12 or 24 month contract means that if you misjudge your typical usage, you can tweak your allowance each month. Or if you rarely use your mobile, consider a fully pay-as-you-go deal. One of the cheapest is 1P Mobile, which charges 1P per megabyte of data, 1P per standard call minute and 1P per text. To qualify, you need to top up £10 every two months. Number four. Cut your mobile costs when you're on holiday. If you frequently travel to Europe, consider switching to a provider that doesn't charge extra for European roaming. This currently includes GIFGAF, ID Mobile, Labara, O2, Plusnet, Smarty, Talk Mobile, Tesco, and Virgin. Costs for roaming beyond Europe can vary dramatically, so check your tariff carefully. It may be best to turn off roaming entirely in your phone settings and stick to using Wi-Fi. 
Number five, consider getting a family or a shared mobile plan. You may get a discount on mobile bills if everyone in your household uses the same provider. And providers offering family or group discounts or other benefits such as shared data allowances or data boosts include EE, Sky, Smarty and Tesco. It's always worth comparing the costs after discounts against other providers though. A discount on a high headline price may not stack up compared with opting for a provider with lower rates in the first place. And finally, try binge watching your favourite shows. A key advantage of TV streaming services over traditional TV is that the shows are usually on demand, meaning you don't have to wait a week between episodes. This means that you can avoid having to pay for multiple streaming services at once and instead sign up to one, binge watch your chosen shows, then rotate to the other service. Rinse and repeat. Rob Lilly Jones was reading that piece, originally written by Kerry Stanaway and published in the October edition of the Witch Tech magazine. To read it in full, then be sure to become a Witch Tech member. I'll pop a link in the show notes for you to find out more. We'll be back next week for another episode of Witch Shorts, but in the meantime, why not check out the Witch Money podcast for more advice on how to make your money go further. Just search Witch Money wherever you're listening. Witch Shorts was produced and edited by me, James Rowe, while the exec producer was Grace Farrell. If you're enjoying this podcast from us here at Witch, then why not become a Witch member? Right now, we've got a special offer, especially for podcast listeners, meaning you can choose any of our three membership tiers for 50% off the usual price. Starting at just £39.50 for a full year, you can get Witch Magazine delivered direct to your door. For the same price, you could also choose a digital Witch subscription, giving you access to all of our product reviews, the Witch app, and the digital edition of Witch Magazine. What's more, you'll also be able to use the Ask Witch service for personalised one-to-one buying advice. Or why not get a full access Witch subscription for just £49.50 for a full year. Don't forget, that's 50% off the usual price. To join Witch or to find out more, just head to witch.co.uk forward slash podcast offer. That's witch.co.uk forward slash podcast offer or click the link in the description for today's podcast for 50% off a Witch annual subscription.